matter how long I've been doing this, I still get in the water sometimes. If it's good and it's crowded, I'm like, I got to get my quota of waves. And, <laughs> um, and you can find yourself on a gorgeous day doing the thing that you love, being like agitated or angry. And um, I think that's a good time to practice actual mindfulness in the water where you can be like, hey, what if I actually just watch the light on the water while I sit here? What if I actually follow my breath? Mm. Um, or a practice in expectations. You know, this goes back to the, the Buddha's idea of like, we suffer because of our um, incessant desires. <laughs> so it's like our incessant desires for things to be another way than they are right now. So our failure to just accept feelings that we're having. And so um, surfing is a perfect metaphor for that because it's like you get one wave, you're super stoked, and then you're like, oh, I got to get another one. And it's like then if someone's in your way, they all of a sudden become an enemy or an obstacle. All those things are natural. And, it, and you as a human being, I think, have to say, well, this is fun. I can get into my com competition mindset. That's okay. But as soon as it starts to turn on you and create suffering, you can catch yourself and be like, oh, what if I lower my expectations right now to just being in the water? Like, that's my goal of this <laughs> session right now. Or one wave. Like, I'm going to get one wave. And um, so I play with that sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, those, like, expectation models. Because really what we're talking about, I think, with, like, water releasing us into freedom is we're getting out of, like, our usual mental grooves.